Okay, so are your nails brittle and does your hair lack lustre? If so, you could be deficient in protein. Proteins contain amino acids and they are the building blocks for body tissues and muscles. Good quality protein is essential for enzyme production to make sure that our foods are digested properly and for hormone manufacture, particularly insulin, which helps to regulate blood sugar levels. Fish, egg, beans and pulses are fantastic sources of protein, as are plain nuts. Don't eat salted or roasted nuts, but plain nuts are excellent. Now, if you eat meat, then you want to opt for white meat or fish. Tip six is about blood sugar levels. Low blood sugar makes you feel irritable, forgetful, lethargic and listless. And high blood sugar has a very different effect, making you feel hyper and quite tense. Blood sugar swings like these come from a variety of factors such as stress and poor diet. But when we eat foods that are high in simple sugars like sweets and cakes, our blood sugar levels shoot up and go really high. Now in response to this, the body releases insulin to help the glucose into the cells. But this in turn can cause the blood sugar levels to slump very quickly, leaving us feel lethargic and craving another sugary hit. Now complex carbohydrates help to avoid this situation as when we mentioned before, they are slow releasing, they help sustain and balance your blood sugar levels. Rice, liver, turkey and avocados are all excellent at balancing blood sugar levels and enhancing your moods. So see the booklet for recipes and ideas. Tip 7 concerns fats. Now fats have been given a really bad press lately but we wouldn't survive without them. Not all fats are bad. There are two types of fats, saturated which is solid at room temperature and unsaturated which is liquid at room temperature. The saturated fats come from meat and dairy products and can contribute to heart disease and stroke so we want to be eating the unsaturated fats. Now these come from a variety of different sources and one of the best sources of these fats is oily fish such as salmon, trout, herring and sardines. Now these actually lower blood cholesterol and they reduce the risk of heart attacks and stroke so they're essential. Now the brain is the body's fat richest organ and these unsaturated fats literally help to feed the brain, improving your short term memory, concentration and clarity of thought. I would recommend that you don't actually use margarine. If you want to spread, use butter, unsalted and spread thinly. And on your salads, use cold pressed oils such as olive oil or peanut oil. So now I'm going to show you how to make a smoothie that you can have for your breakfast which will really help to maintain your blood sugar levels and balance you throughout the day. So you take a banana and um, an average size banana really, don't really put a small banana in there, but a decent sized banana, break that up. So at this point you add the yoghurt, so put some yoghurt in there, only a bit, not too much, and then add a little bit of water just to make it a bit more hydrated, put some water in there. Now at this point you would add the oil. Now remember that the oil is going to feed your brain, help to balance your blood sugar levels and help with your hormone production. So you'd put about a tablespoon of the oil in there. Now another component we're going to introduce is something called lecithin. Now lecithin is an emulsifier and that means that it helps to break the fat, this oil, down so it gets utilised as energy and not stored as fat. It's also a phospholipid and it helps to make your cell membranes. So I put some lecithin in there. And it's at this point that if you were taking some supplements, let's say you wanted to take some vitamin C or some magnesium, then you could actually open up the capsules, pop them in there as well, so you're taking all your nutrients at one go. So you pop your lid on, press the buzzer, so you've now got an incredibly healthy, well-balanced breakfast will help to keep your blood sugar levels stable throughout the morning. Cheers. Our final tip is on anti-nutrients. Now these are things that we put into our body that actually deplete us of energy and leave us feeling exhausted. So the first thing I would recommend is that you cut right down or even out coffee, even decaf. 
It contains chemicals which can disturb sleep and cause PMS-related breast discomfort. It also increases the heart rate and blood pressure and it can irritate the lining of the intestines as well. In fact, both tea and coffee are diuretics, so they force the body to lose water, adding to the dehydrated message. Now, it'll come as no surprise to you that smoking has a detrimental effect on the health, but you may not know that cigarettes leach your vitamin C, which of course is a vital energy nutrient. So try and stop or at least cut down and replenish your vitamin C. Too much salt can lead to hypertension and water retention, and many processed foods contain high levels of salt, so always eat fresh foods when you can. And that's it. Eight easy tips to improve your diet so you feel bodylicious on the inside, as well as looking like a dance floor goddess on the outside. Thanks for the tips, Jeanette, and thank you for watching. And remember, keep dancing and keep eating right, and that way you'll stay bodylicious. I love to dance, but you could exercise anywhere. Take this.